Hi, we are the Ohio Guys here in location in Houston, Texas. I'm Christian Ocampo, and today I'm joined with Margaret McDonald. Hey, doing, Margaret? Doing fine. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. So, we got a few questions to ask you. First of all, what's it like working in the industry today? Um, the industry today um, is actually, I, I personally really like it because um, we're a big community. We really look out for each other. Um, and even though we don't necessarily meet each other, we're still very interested in knowing each other, um, even though we don't work directly with each other. Because, for, for example, I only met David Wald at the premiere of um, Tomical Market, and when I met him, I was like, oh, I love your work, you, you did great, and he was like, yeah, likewise. So we end up knowing about each other, but we don't necessarily meet each other until when we're actually at like a premiere or sometimes we bump into each other in the office, but for the most part, I don't really see any other voice actors. But the industry, it's a very tight-knit community, and um, I like how open it is, it is in being able to bring in new talent, and we're very accepting of new talent when it gets here. So, um, like, I, I'm really impressed with a couple couple of newer people who have been coming in, like uh, Gabe Rigojo. I'm really, I, I was really impressed with him. I, I only first saw him in uh, Nobunaga the Fool, and I was like, oh, who is that guy? He's, he's pretty good. Uh, same with uh, Christina Kelly. She came in on uh, Heartthrob, and I was like, who is this girl playing Shichimiya? Man, like, I, I really liked it. I was, I was entranced. Like, both of them were, like, really good, and we get a lot of new people who are coming in, and, and, they're, and they're great. And I, th I think it's good that we have um, a steady stream of people coming in to the industry as well, because it gives um, gives the directors more more chances for diversity within um, the the shows that we're doing. So it's it's really exciting. So, what's your favorite anime that you have worked on? Oh, all of them are so much fun. Um, I I've always really liked. Uh, Girls and Ponzer, of course. That, that one is very close to my heart. I love that one. Um, I'm a huge fan of Love to Nubio, of course. Uh, when I first saw it, I, I didn't know which character I was going to be, and I, and I fell in love with Rika. I, I was watching it, and I was like, Rika is just like me because I'm a huge nerd. And I was... I, I am a huge nerd. No lie. But... Um, uh, I, I really fell in love with all those characters, and Tamako is just so adorable. Haruka from Little Busters is great, uh, just, and Isuzu from Log Horizon. I really like. I feel like out of all the characters I've played, I'm probably most personally like Suzu, but um, I relate to all of them in in one way or another, and I really enjoy. Almost, almost everything I've been in, I've, I've really, really enjoyed. Nothing stands out as something that I didn't like working on, but I, I really enjoy what I do, and I like being able to relate to characters that are not typically what I am. So I, I really enjoy working in the industry. So. Since you touch base on it, was like working on Love Chinubio. Oh, Love Chinubio was oh, it was such so great. Um. The first season was Emily Neves was the director, and she did a marvelous casting job. All of us really, really, we we really clicked together as as a group. We all sounded really appropriate um, in each area. Um, like Loraldo as Yuta was was great, and then Maggie playing Nibutani was was perfect, and then Brittany as Decamori. I Brittany nailed that role. All of us, all of us really nailed the roles. But I was, I was so impressed with, uh, because it was one of Emily's first ones, and I was, I was so impressed as her as a director. Um, she was an assistant director on a couple other things, and I'd worked with her before. But I was just blown away with um, how good she was at it. Like uh, I, because I had never seen her directing. I, I and I had seen her assistant directing, but I hadn't seen her like full on in director mode, and I was really impressed with uh, how she handled it and how she took on. She, she really took it on, and she she triumphed, and, and she made it sound great. And then the second season was directed by Kyle because Emily wanted to focus more on on acting, and she's done some great stuff recently. She just moved to New York, and I wish her the best. 
I'm really excited about that. Um, can't wait to see her on Broadway. But um, it, when when Kyle stepped in, I was really excited because I, I had only worked I had worked with Kyle on a couple other things, but not anything that I were I was a a major role, and so I was really excited to spend seeing him working, really getting into it, and, and it was just a great time. We had a great time being with everything because uh, you have to keep it you have to stay in a good mood the whole time because you're you're going up and down on the scale so you're happy one minute and like five seconds later you're like sobbing and it's an emotional scene so it's it's having a good work environment is key to being able to bring this all together so another project you worked on or was I working on Little Busters Little Busters. Little Busters was a lot of fun because um, it's a very fun and up show and the first season is like really up there and like all my character didn't have anything sad for, for like the first season and then like all of a sudden it's, it gets real dark and I was like oh wow I was not expecting that because sometimes I'm able to watch the series and sometimes I'm not. Little Busters was one of those series that I was not able to pre-watch because it wasn't legally anywhere <laughs> so because um, some of them I'm just like you know, if you can't get the materials to watch it, you can't really prep for it. But still, you take the time to evaluate the character in every scene, and you're able to still bring out the best in it. But Little Busters was one of the ones that really surprised me because I didn't know what was going to happen next. So Little Busters was a lot of fun because I hadn't really had a role that really... I hadn't had a huge crying role yet, you know. Um, I had a bunch of roles that had been happy, go lucky, and like, you know, had some like sad moments, but this was one that was just like heartbreaking because Harka, the, the story of Harka and her sister, Genevieve Simmons, who plays my sister in everything, but <laughs> love Genevieve, <laughs> love you Genevieve, but um, it, it's, it was, it was the first time that I ever really had a really emotional scene, and I was really glad that I got to work with Chris on it because Chris... Chris is a great director, and I really admire him. So was there anything? No, no question. All right, so if you could be any character you have played in real life, who would you be, and you can mix and match? Oh, gosh, man. Oh, there's a couple characters that I want to be that I can't talk about yet, but um, I know for a fact I wouldn't want to be Sayo in A Comic Got Killed because she gets killed, so... Um, I think all of my characters have really messed up families for the most part, so I don't know if I want to be any of them. Because, <laughs> uh, well, Rika has her issues with her family, and then uh, Miho has her issues with her family, and Haruka obviously has her <laughs> issues with her family. Um, I mean, Isuzu's stuck in another world. I think it'd be cool because she has, like, those, those kind of game powers. That would be fun. But, uh,. I'd want to be probably Tamako because she has such like her her life is a lot of like while it does have its ups and downs like she has a very solid family and they're always there for her and like these entire shopping arcades are family so I I find that really appealing because I'm very much a family oriented person and uh, yeah I think I, I think I'd want to be Tamako because I'd want a bird that sounded like Jay Hickman so <laughs> that would be perfect. All right, since you just mentioned Tamako Market. What was that working on it? Oh, it was great. Um, I was really excited about it. Uh, it was my first lead with Chris, and uh, Chris is great. Um, I love working with him. And it was she was she was very much a, a happy go lucky character, um, and she didn't have very many like like really sad moments. And I was really excited about that because I was able to because I'm a pretty happy person myself. So I was excited to be able to like you know bring this character to life because I, I really liked her and I really liked um, my favorite episode it's like the ninth episode I'm not gonna spoil it for anyone but just, that episode is dear to my heart and um, I liked how big the cast was but we also we all blended so well so props for Chris on like really bringing us together because it ended up sounding great and it was really exciting so another Emmy worked on was like working on Problem Children from Another World. Problem Children was a lot of fun. Um, 
I wasn't in it too much. I think I maybe had like an hour and a half of work in it. Um, I, but I really liked that one. I thought it was really fun. I really liked the characters in it. And I loved the design of the character I played with the little ears and the tail. I, didn't, I hadn't really played any characters like that. And I, I really enjoyed just the overall series. I thought it was a lot of fun. And it had its own, it, of course, they had their own problems in it. And it was just, it's about overcoming issues and like a bunch of outcasts really coming together and like becoming a family again family oriented so i like that one so is there anything coming out that you can talk about or anything you want to plug in this time well of course agami got kill is on toonami right now and it is absolutely great um i know i've already died but i'm still very very fond of the show but uh sorry spoiler alert whoops but <laughs> it's it's a great show. Everybody worked really hard on it, and I'm really glad of what's come out of it. It's it's Molly's done great work, and Corey and David. Everybody has worked so hard, and it look and it's really showing. Um, and I've been watching it every week, personally. So I think everybody should go out and watch it. I think it's a lot of fun, and. It just shows how far Sentai has come, and like, because it's our it's our first show, it's, it's our first show on uh, Cartoon Network, and it's it's really exciting. So, last question, and we ask this to all the voice actors and actresses: Any Facebook, Twitter, or any social media for the fans to follow you? Yes, of course. Um, I recently had to change my Twitter because of issues with imposters. But right now it is Megger's McD underscore VA at, um, on Twitter. And then, of course, I have my Facebook page that I ask everyone to follow. Um, it's much easier to keep track of things through the Facebook page than through my personal. So if you find Margaret McDonald voice actor, it, and there's a dash in between it. Um, and that's where I put all my updates on what I've been in, um, what's coming up, what cons I'm going to. So I'm excited about that. Yeah, oh yeah, you got one con. Yeah, I'm going up to uh, Con Alt Delete in Chicago, and I think it's like December 8, 18th. Yeah, I think so. something like that. Uh, I'm excited, but I'm also really scared because it's supposed to be really cold there. And um, I was born and raised in Houston, so the idea of like something being negative, anything is really scary, but I'm, I'm also really excited because I've only really played in snow once before, so I'm probably going to, like, run around like wolf children, basically. <laughs> so it's, I, I will run around in the snow at some point, but um, I also have to, like, figure out if I have to, like, buy new shoes or something because I hear it's really cold up there. <laughs> yeah, but I'm excited. Good. All right, well, thank you for joining us for this interview. Oh, thank you so much for having me. Yeah, appreciate we appreciate it. All right, I want to thank you again for tuning in for another edition of the Ohio Guys. I'm Christian. I'm Meg McDonald. And we'll see you next time.